but sometime down the road we could be addressing things that are uh, far of far greater importance to far more people. Right, and and we foresee a day in my lab where you can take a pill, maybe three pills, and you'll not just get younger, but your hair will regrow and become dark again if you want. Welcome to our session with Dr. David Sinclair, who will share the latest breakthroughs in anti-aging science. Let's discover how we might soon look and feel younger. And another important point is that when we learn how to reverse aging in the skin and rejuvenate the hair and get it to produce more color, those lessons can be, can be applied across the body because all cells have a fundamental root cause of aging and the same defense pathways against that process. So for instance, rapamycin, cyclosporin, minoxidil, these could be used perhaps in really low doses and under clinical conditions tested to see if they have rejuvenating effects in other organs as well. So maybe right now we're trying to figure out how to help people keep their hair more colorful, try to keep it in their scalp rather than on the floor, but sometime down the road, we could be addressing things that are uh, far, of far greater importance to far more people. Right, and, and we foresee a day in my lab where you can take a pill, maybe three pills, and you'll not just get younger, but your hair will regrow and become dark again if you wanted to. So we've covered a lot today, as always. If people wanna go back, they can use the show notes, which are timestamped to find the thing that they wanna talk about. Just give me a big picture here though of, of everything that we've talked about and what the, what, what's the big takeaway today? Well, the, the big takeaway is that we're on the verge of being able to re reverse aging in the body internally, but also externally. Um, and that'll be a world where people not just live longer, but feel better about themselves as well. We've talked about injectables, edibles, smearables. It's a lot of ways of getting these molecules into the body, not just ingesting them, but putting them on the surface and getting them into the layers where they needed to slow down and reverse aging. And there's a lot to talk about, about the, the future of all of this development and what we're going to be seeing in the next five to 10 years as well, which we'll cover in a later episode. At the top of the show, I mentioned that I had come into this topic a little bit reluctantly. I didn't think we really needed to be spending our time helping people. You thought it was a superficial topic? I did. I thought it was a superficial topic, and I can admit when I'm wrong. Rarely, but yeah. <laughs> Once in a while. Um, this isn't just about looking good. This is part of the progression of the things that we've been talking about throughout the course of this series. None of this negates also the importance of doing the exercise and eating well and engaging uh, you, you, like the circuits in your body that respond to adversity. Getting enough sleep, don't stress, all of that stuff. We all that about. stuff is important. But then the outcome of that is it, it can be that you look better. That's, a, that's okay. Right. So the moral of, of this episode is if you can keep yourself looking good by doing the right things, you'll probably end up living longer too. Often you find nicotinamide or nicotinic acid or molecules related to those in, in cosmetics. And they've been shown to actually have quite beneficial effects on the skin, thickening, for example. Mostly people think it's because of the B vitamin, vitamin B3, but actually probably what's going on is it's turning on again, the sirtuin defenses of the skin. There's one more molecule we should talk about as we're talking about topographic creams before we move on to other remedies. That's uh, hyaluronic acids, HA. These are really, really popular right now. Well, yeah, they're really important for the plumpness of the skin uh, and the, the ability of it to flex. So when you do that, this is collagen, but it's also, it's HA involved. And it's not just in the skin, HA is found throughout the body. And what's super interesting about HA is that it's found in in abundance in long-lived organisms. It seems to be involved in protecting animals, in particular from cancer. One organism we've talked about before is the naked mole rat. Actually, our uh, one of our children, uh, Alex, is handling and helping to raise naked mole rats up at the University of Rochester. So far, Dr. Sinclair has explained the rejuvenating effects on skin and hair. Next, we'll see how these methods can significantly enhance overall health and longevity. Low laser light, Therapy? Therapy, I think that's right. Um, and the we're not quite sure how this works. We know it works. We're not quite sure how. There's a leading theory about mitochondria. Yeah, well, they, they some people think it's due to heat. I think that that's a bunch of BS. What probably is happening that makes sense to me is we've heard about nitric oxide earlier, about opening up the arteries and the, and the blood vessels. Nitric oxide also controls mitochondrial function. 
And the, that la laser light has been shown to dissociate this nitric oxide enzyme from what we talked about earlier in another episode, the electron transport chain. There are proteins that make the energy. They're called the electron transport chain. There are five of those, and they're made up of multiple proteins. And number five gets disrupted by laser light. In fact, this nitric oxide uh, synthase, which is a protein that we mentioned earlier for blood vessels, also plays a role here. And the laser light takes away that protein, that nitric oxide synthase moves away. And now what you get is a bunch of free radicals in the mitochondrion, which results in what we call mitohormesis. A little bit of what doesn't kill your mitochondria makes them stronger and multiply. And probably that increase in energy is what allows those stem cells to stay young and rejuvenate. Ooh, like rejuvenating stem cells, which means that of all of these strategies for uh, addressing balding, the the creams, the pills, the one that's actually having potentially seems to be having an actual anti-aging effect is the freaking laser beams. It is funny the world we live in, but it's beyond hair now. It looks like shining red laser light, which can penetrate deeply into the skin, even into the sublayers, can be ben beneficial on the entire body. And this is why we're seeing a huge increase in the sales of saunas that have red infrared laser light as well. Let's talk about platelet-rich plasma injections, another thing that's gaining popularity for a variety of conditions. A lot of athletes use these to recuperate uh, after sports injuries, but um, people are increasingly using these for hair loss as well. They are. It's uh, platelet-rich plasma, PRP. And what you get done is you go into a, a clinic, they'll take out your blood, they'll spin out the cells, take the platelet-rich plasma, and inject it either into your veins for longevity or in most cases, put it into your scalp in many different places with uh, with a needle. They anesthetize it so that you don't cry too much. And what is probably happening is that this plasma is filled with a bunch of goodies. Exosomes we've talked about before, hormones, little peptides, probably what are called V-cells, very small embryonic-like cells. We're gonna talk, get to that in another episode. This mixture of things probably helps the 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 stem cells in the follicle get rejuvenated, maybe even turn back the clock on those. But exactly what component in there that's working, we really have no idea. You didn't note a point of frustration and irony, which is that like blood banks and hospital systems are trying to get people to donate platelets, you know, for life-saving research and, and therapies. Um, but one good way to get people to get their platelets out of their body is to tell them that they can regrow their hair. Yeah, it's true. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found Dr. David Sinclair's insights into anti-aging as enlightening as we did. Keep watching for more updates on how science is redefining age.